Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Gunshell plugin. So, this is a really cool plugin which adds a variety of weapons into the game, such as pistols, snipers, assault rifles, grenades, melee weapons, and then, of course, ammunition. So it's really easy to get them, you use a command and you can customise various things like range, damage, cooldowns etc in the config file and by default there is quite a few that have been made. So if we have a look at the weapons chest here you can see I've got a couple of them, there's much more than this. So if you look at either of them you will see the amount of ammo that they come with and the durability. So the durability is the amount of shots you can do before it breaks like any other weapon in Minecraft. So if we go ahead and grab this M16A4 and then if we right click you will see that there is a little muzzle flash there which is pretty cool and there's a bit of recoil we get thrown backwards. And if I just hold down right click you can see that it fires relatively fast, um, obviously not as fast as real life. And then if you look in chat, you can see the durability counting down, same with the ammunition, and then it will reload. And then after a couple seconds, it's reloaded, and now we can shoot it again. So you can see that cow was no match for the M16. And in chat, you can see it says you hit cow with a shot or a headshot. And then there is a cool blood effect, which is pretty nice as well. So let's have a look at what else we have. So there's the AWP, the AWP, which if you play Counter-Strike, you're familiar with and that does a ton of damage but takes a while to reload and actually I don't have any ammunition so if I grab all of these grab my AWP reload takes a long time and then I can finally shoot once it's reloaded there's a ton of kick and then it takes a while to rechamber it and then we have the grenades so I'm going to show you what these look like so a Molotov as you can imagine, if I were to throw this, it's going to bounce a little bit and then it's going to pop up into flames. And then there is a normal grenade, which if I can find a pig, I can throw the grenade hopefully at the pig and then it should explode. And that did quite a lot of damage, triple kill there. So if we do the forward slash gun shell command and then we're going to do get weapon. These are all the different weapons you can get. You can see there's a variety of assault rifles, pistols, sniper rifles. If we want to get the Walther P99, we want to not put our username quite yet. We want to put the durability. So how many shots can it take before it breaks? So I'm gonna put 99, then my username. And then all of these are a wooden hoe. Now, obviously that looks rather boring, but you can use a texture pack um, to jazz it up a little and that would make it look much, much better. And then we can do the same for throwable or grenade. And there's a couple of these, so I'm not sure what a dev credit is. I think that's just for testing purposes. Um, and it still explodes, which is pretty Pretty interesting. So that is the main command. There's a couple other commands you can use, such as the info command. That's going to tell you who's created the plugin and give you a link to the download. And then if you change anything in the config file, it will be reloaded. And that's where we're going to head now. So here we are on the SMPicnic control panel. And as you can see, there's folders for all of the items that you can get. A config file, which basically has nothing in, and then a messages file, which is just everything that's going to pop up in chat. So what you really want to do is go to one of these. So we're going to go into weapons and then built in. And in this YML file, it's going to list all the different weapons that we have. So it starts with a revolver and goes down to the M1A. And then what you could actually do is tweak any of these damage, range, cooldown values that you wanted. And what you could even do is create a brand new weapon by copying and pasting an existing one and then just tweaking the name and all the numbers and whatnot. Now if you did that it would be important to go into ammunition and then obviously create the same thing in ammo here. So here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.12 to 1.19. Here are the texture packs so there's two depending on what uh, Minecraft version you're running on and then if we scroll down here there is a good link to the documentation which will uh, give you all the information you need to know but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time.